Hey, boy. Look, I'm gonna make this simple for you. You got two choices. Yes okay. or yes. So this is the plant we found that is been infected. As you can see, the down part is infected by ant. There is many ant climb around this tree from the bottom to the top. And for this part, you can see visible millibug also under the leaf. And we can see the, millib the visible millibug is following the rain. So this is the clearer image of millibug that is infected on the vein. As you can see, this is the bottom part of the plant that have a lot of ant that might be the sign for millibug to occur. As you can see also, there is a lot of millibug attached to the stem and also underside of the leaf. Background. As you can see here, Jeremy tried to prove the existence of millibugs by trying to pop it up and you can see the Ew, so disgusting! So, the symptoms on this plant are include the study of growth. As you can see, there's only about 1.4 meters height. Then, when you look at the plant's can grow up to 2 meters height. After that, there is also a corrosive on the leaf, which is the yellowing of the, of the leaf part. Besides, you can see there is also got the current on this leaf. All these symptoms are caused by the many bugs where they, uh, when they are fit and start on this plant's sugar set. And this will affect the plant's met whole meta the affect the whole plant's metabolism. So if we want to prevent uh, mealy bugs from infecting plants, we should probably understand what mealy bugs are. So mealy bugs are members of the order Hemiptera, or the true bugs. And that is to say that these insects use uh, what's called a rostrum to pierce into leaves or the stem right here. Uh, they use their rostrum to pierce into the stem or the leaves to suck up nutrients. Uh, now these mealy bugs, uh, when they pierce into these leaves, you can see that they can also cause a little bit of uh, chlorosis and this will end up sort of withering away some of these leaves. For the procedure to treat these problems by the mealy bugs, especially as a drug, in a proper way, by which in short terms, especially by using an, well, you can see in the front, at the front here, by using an alkaline liquid with a spray bottle. So we need to spray under of this leaf so that so that this alkaline liquid can can move these things, and also we can use such as tissues or towel to remove this. Mealy bugs, like they say, and other, other procedure we can do is like lose the soil. As you can see here, the mealy bug and ants are working in the same biosis kind of relationship. So the ants is gaining the benefit from getting the glucose from the excretion and the feces from the mealy bug. So to prevent from this mealy bug to spread to another plant. Basically, we will use the pesticide, a proper procedure, removing all of this by spraying the alkaline soap and anything. And also, we need to reduce the ants by lure them to another fruit, uh, or another fruit tree that contain high sugar or high glucose level. So yeah, that is how we want to uh, integrate the pest management here on the cranberry plants here.